In this video, we'll start with a quick look at a potential architecture and infrastructure configuration you would need for building a globally available low latency real time app. Then we'll discuss more practical implementation details. We chose a multiplayer quiz app as an example, but these concepts equally apply to other platforms. The client side component of our app is only one element, so the interface could be something else like Slack multi channel chat or shared whiteboard or whatever. They all have a common denominator, which is the infrastructure. We have a GitHub repo with the source code. If you want to try it for yourself, just look in the description of the video below. The presentation is divided into sections, starting with infrastructure, where we look at AWS and Ably, then channel architecture, where we look at how the channels segment messages, and the other sections deal with the present set, the quiz demo site, and then we conclude with some tips and recommended reading. So what are we building? We want to build a low latency global platform for a real time app. And the app we chose is an, as an example is a multiplayer quiz. Think something like Mentimeter, Kahoot or Slido, where the participants are sent questions, they answer and the scores are updated instantaneously. And when the game is over, a winner is announced immediately. The quiz platforms I mentioned earlier might look different, but they all have the same underlying requirements. There is a host and a group of participants, live scores, a leaderboard, a synchronized timer for the turns, and an indication of which players are present. The host is generally the curator of the questions and runs the live game. The participants log in with an invitation link. Once they're in, the host determines when the game starts. Here's a simplified view of the system. There is an app server connected to the front-end clients. Notice that the host is also a front-end client, just like the other players. The app server publishes the questions, receives the answers, checks them, and computes the scores. The host and the participants are among its front-end clients. We need our component to communicate bidirectionally in a stateful manner and very, very quickly. Okay. So let's look at how you would do this with AWS. Here you have an estimation of everything that you would need to get this done for a single AWS region. Let's break it down. At the bottom, you can see our front end app. They communicate with the back end server. There are loads of colored lines, but bear with me. These all show different types of communications to specific parts of the infrastructure and indicate the direction of flow. For example, the pink lines depict outbound messages only, where the green are bidirectional. To begin with, we'll just be focusing on the purple lines. The server side logic is hosted on auto scaling EC2 instances behind a load balancer. Our front end clients can access the quiz app via Route 53 and CloudFront before reaching the Elastic Load Balancer that decides which of the available EC2 instances serve the request. The backend Virtual Private Cloud, or VCP, also communicates with storage, that being an S3 bucket and a Dynamo database, to store and retrieve information and assets. We also have some Lambda functions, which will be triggered at different points by the quiz. Now, if our front-end clients also need to access the Lambda functions, they'll do that via the API gateway. So far, so good. And this is fine for REST-based communications, which work based on a stateless request response cycle. But we're using real-time events that use publish and subscribe communication capabilities. So we need to enable an Elastic Cache for Redis to serve as a global data store, which in itself supports PubSub. Our backend EC2 instances will stay in sync with updates via this Redis cache within sub 250 millisecond latencies. This low latency is very important for real-time applications. Now, to use WebSockets to exchange messages between our front-end clients, AWS recommends using the IoT core service. Their WebSockets are served over the MQTT protocol. To secure the IoT core, you will need an authentication mechanism, and AWS lets us use Cognito to do that. While this enables app-based PubSub messaging with backend services, we still need something like SNS or simple notification services to push updates, even when the app 
is not in use. This could be a mobile push notification to tell our players that, hey, a new quiz is starting. Lastly, to know which of our players are online or not, or if they go offline during a turn, we would need to implement presence logic and manage publishing or broadcasting a status message as different events happen, including failures or closures. No AWS service provides that out of the box, so you would need to build that yourself. And there you have it. This is all of the stuff we would need for a single AWS region. At the start, we defined our problem as being a low latency global platform for a multiplayer quiz. So how do we scale this? We need a 250 millisecond latency to ensure that all our participants remain in sync during the game. To achieve this, all clients must be routed to a node nearest to them based on their geographic location. To do that, we need to replicate almost all of the services into multiple regions across the globe. I've condensed the diagrams to make them slightly easier to see. Our architecture now exists in two regions. The problem with this setup is that it adds a non-trivial amount of configuration, development, and maintenance complexity, because you must ensure these regions are all synchronized at all times. So let's use this as our starting point to explore how you could simplify this complexity by using Ably. We will be doing the exact same thing, except with an Ably infrastructure as the underlying base. Out of the box, Ably automatically runs in multiple global regions. So we can reduce the multi-region diagram down to a singleton, like this. Ably does the smart routing internally without any configuration required by the developer. It can also communicate directly via PubSub and REST with both backend and frontend services to keep the backend in sync with itself and with the frontend clients. Consequently, we can remove the Elastic Hash for Redis, the IoT Core, and the API Gateway. We can also remove the SNS topics because Ably provides push notifications and direct integrations with third party services via webhooks. Ably makes it easier to provide low latency edge messaging at scale because it's a drop in replacement for several. AWS services. We can keep using AWS services to run the backend logic for the quiz, but we no longer need to deal with syncing various components in real time as we'll be using Ably to do that. This is how Ably's multi region diagram looks, except you get seven. We run the production cluster in seven AWS regions. The channel PubSub operates seamlessly between them. Ably handles all of the distributed system challenges, including data sync, availability, smart routing, and elasticity automatically. And you can also connect with other third-party services or applications via webhooks, queues, or firehose. For example, you might want to connect to Kafka or Zapier. Both of these are great examples of common third-party integrations. Now that we have the infrastructure in place, let us return to our front-end real-time app and unpack how that should work under the hood. This is an event-driven architecture. We need to use channel messages to cause stuff to happen in the UI. Users subscribe to a named channel. Every time a message is published, it is broadcast to the channel. This triggers a listener to which the clients respond. For our multiplayer quiz app, Let's examine the categories of messages we would like to stream between our various components. Host admin channel. This channel is for the host to trigger events on the server, like starting the quiz, showing the next question, etc. As you can see, participants are not part of this channel. This is how we ensure only the host has admin permissions. The quiz channel. This is the main channel and transports the questions, correct answers, and time attack events. Player channels. Bob, Lisa, and Kai. These are dedicated to each player, where they publish their responses to the questions. As an alternative, you could use a single channel for all the players instead of separate channels. You would then identify unique players using an event name, like this. Event names are how you would let the server know which data belongs to which player. Ably's presence feature allows us to know if participants are online or offline. We can use the quiz channel to manage the present set and ensure our host participants enter the present set as soon as they connect. If they quit or disconnect, they will automatically disappear from the set. 
Unlike AWS, you don't need to handle this logic yourself. Here is a snippet to show how it works. In the demo quiz app, link in the description, you'll see only the quiz server has subscribed to presence events. This is so it can effectively manage participants, live stats, scores, and the leaderboard. It is possible to have all the components subscribe to the presence events, but this can make it difficult to scale. To demonstrate everything we've discussed so far, we have built a multiplayer quiz starter kit in Node.js and Vue.js with the architecture that we have explained here. You can use it as a starting point and customize it to suit your needs to further understand it better while preparing to build your own real-time game or app. This demo implements worker threads in Node.js to enable multi-quiz rooms. This allows various hosts to host their own independent quizzes simultaneously. Alternatively, we have published a demo website. You can scan this QR code and also open the website in your browser with the quiz demo website link, which is in the description. Try it for yourself. Remember to open a few tabs to create the other players and to see how they interact with each other and with the quiz host. And with that, we've reached the end of this video. In summary, we looked at the high-level concepts of creating a real-time app and saw how Ably simplifies global infrastructure considerably. Then we looked at the architecture of the app itself and examined how to use channels for different purposes and how Ably's presence set can simplify user management of front-end clients. Then we showed off the demo app that we created to use these concepts and for you to use as a starting point to make your own real-time quiz. And finally, this video also comes as a PDF, which you can download for free and read at your leisure. If you have any questions, please leave a comment or catch us on social media.